In this tutorial, I'll explain the static analysis of a beam problem using ANSYS mechanical APDR. Our aim is to draw the shear force and bending moment diagrams of the given beam here. So this is ANSYS classic environment. There is ANSYS multi physics. We are also calling this as mechanical APDR. So after starting the ANSYS software, the first step is you have to go for preferences and select the type of analysis. This is the static structural analysis. So that's why that comes under structural. So select this particular checkbox, click on OK. Then go for preferences, select element type, click on add element, click on add and select the element type as beam because here it's a simply supported beam. Then two types of beams are there. Select two noded 188 element. OK. Close. After that, go to the material properties, then click on material models. So now I am going to use the static structural material. So go for structural, linear, elastic, isentropic. Angst modulus is 2E7, that means 2 into 10 to the power 7. Poison's ratio is 0 0.3. Okay. Close this window. After setting the material properties, the next step is we have to define the cross section of the element. So I am using the square cross section here. That's why I go to the sections, select B, common sections, and here you can select the different cross section shapes. I am selecting the square, and width is 0 0.1 meters, height is 0 0.1 meters. Here, no need to define the units because whatever unit you are using as input, same unit you will get in the output. So, input I am giving as 0.1 meters. So, output also I will get in meters only. Okay. So, after setting the sections, then go for modeling. Then create. I am directly creating the nodes. Nodes, inactive CS. My first node is according to this diagram this node i will call as 0 comma 0 this is 7.50 this is 10 comma 0 this is 12.5 comma 0 first node is at 0 0 apply second node 7.5 0 apply third node 10 0 apply fourth node 12.5 0 ok 4 nodes are created now we have to connect each node with the help of elements here why I am creating a node here is here to here load is there after that no load so whenever you are finding some load variation there you have to introduce one node wherever you are having supports there you have to introduce one node because of support here first node because of load variation second node because of the support third node here we are applying the load that's why fourth node in this way, we have to do the discretization. This process is called discretization. Then, now we have to create the elements. Go for elements, then auto numbering through nodes. Click this first node, second node, click on apply. Then, second node, third node, click on apply. Third node, fourth node, click on OK. Now, the modeling part is over. That means pre processor stage is over. Now, we have to apply the loads. That's why go to the solution stage, then click on define loads, apply, structural, displacements means constraints, those are the supports, go to the displacements, on nodes, here I have to arrest this in all degrees of freedom, all DOF, ok, all degrees are arrested, then again click on nodes, select this particular third node, apply, here only in y direction I want to arrest UI, ok only in y direction that is about displacements next here to here a varying distributed load is there so that's why go for pressure on beams select this ok here first at i node value is 5000 at j node it is 7000 ok then go to the force then on nodes select this particular node ok in y direction downwards 
means negative upwards positive minus 10,000 the load is minus 10,000 okay now applying the loads part is over now we can solve the problem go to solve current ls okay solution is done now solution stage is over go to the general post processor create some element table so this element table use some sequence numbers based on the type of element we have selected so here sequence numbers are 36 16 19 we have to define after that we have to use 619 for shear force diagram 316 for bending moment diagram okay so define table add scroll it select by sequence number first one is 3 apply next by sequence number 6 apply next by sequence number 16 apply next one is 19 okay four sequence numbers are added okay next go to plot results contour plot line line element results select 3 16 for bending moment diagram 3 and 16 for bending moment diagram okay this is the bending moment diagram here you are not able to see it clearly that's why you can increase the scale two times you can increase then you will get it like this this is the bending moment diagram then coming to the shear force diagram you have to select 6 and 19 for shear force diagram okay this is the shear force diagram in this way you can draw the shear force and bending moment diagrams 